So I have connected my micro SD card uh, through my micro SD card reader uh, into my laptop. Uh, so the first tool we are going to use uh, to format our SD card is SD card formatter. So over here you can see my SD card, it automatically picked my SD card. So you have to go in options, then you have to select adjustment size on and then you have to select full erase, right? Then OK, then start formatting, right? Right, and you have to click OK. So we connected our SD card uh, through our micro SD card reader and the first tool we used uh, is to format the SD card, right? After formatting the SD card, we will start WinDisk 32 Imager. And over here, as you can see, the SD card is automatically selected, right? So you have to select your OS where you have downloaded your uh, Raspberry Pi uh, image and you have to unzip that image using uh, any unzip software right so i have just unzipped it and it's a dot img file so you have to select it right and then you have to write it into your sd card right so you just have to click write and are you sure you want to continue yes so it will start writing your uh, kali linux image onto your micro sd card right so it might take a few minutes to write. All right, so Kali Linux is successfully written on our micro SD card. So in the next video, we are going to uh, do sharing of our wireless uh, internet with our ethernet right so what we are going to do is we are going to connect our ethernet uh, our, our laptop ethernet, uh, ethernet uh, with our raspberry pi right so we are going to uh, uh, give internet connection to our raspberry pi uh, with our ethernet uh, cable right so it's for initial purpose because of the installation after installation we will also remove ethernet cable and we will just uh, uh, keep our wireless adapter and we will connect uh, our uh, raspberry pi device to our wireless adapter right without using any keyboard or mouse right so uh, in the ne next video what you have to do before starting next video what you have to do is you have to connect your raspberry pi with ethernet port uh, and you have to place your uh, micro SD card uh, into your uh, Raspberry Pi, right? Don't power it right now. I'm going to show you a few uh, things before you power on your Raspberry Pi. So all you have to do is connect your Ethernet uh, with your Raspberry Pi and the other port of Ethernet cable into your laptop, right? Uh, just don't power your uh, Raspberry Pi connect your micro SD card on Raspberry Pi as well, right? So in the next video, we are going to see how we can give uh, sharing of our uh, uh, wireless adapter with our Ethernet port. And then we are going to power on uh, our Raspberry Pi, right? 